Hello there. Now this is a complete diversion. Uh, and I wasn't even able to do what I'm going to try to show you. Uh, what I'm going to try to teach you and uh, reteach myself. Uh, and I don't know if there's a name for it. But I'm calling it uh, the, uh, the inverted, inverted alpha scrape method. I have this picture here, which I actually downloaded already. No, I downloaded something called large, but it was, it's the same size. This 1920 by 1080, same as this. So I don't know why. Oh, I added, I think I added to large at the end. Same file that I got off the internet. And what I want to do is something that's always uh, tricky, which I'll, something that's uh, always been tricky for me, which is to take an image like this and uh, get rid of the white. Um, so the scraping bit is scraping away the white when you've got an image or, that already has lots of white in it I mean the image part contains white uh, and you're trying to get rid of, rid of white but only the white that you want to get rid of uh, now I'm just, first thing I'm just going to show you the image in here and I'm going to show you this is the, the thing I wanted. I wish it would start off at. But this is the image to start with. Now, your first guess is something like the magic wand, right? Uh, a little bit of tolerance, maybe not that much. Some feather. Oh, first promote this. And then delete, right? And that gets most of it, and it's a pretty good result already. So you know, if this is better than my result, then I'm going to stop. Then you got to go. What you got to do is go around and uh, get all these holes. It isn't that bad in this case, really? Maybe I need a better example because the method that I used for it is something that would work where you have so many holes that there's too many to deal with. This is a this is a manageable amount. Uh, let's see now, I'll add a new layer. Hide this. And this is the, like say I want to put this background in. Okay, I missed a couple, but not that many. Uh, this is fine actually. So I don't need, I don't need my special method for this. I just need to touch this. Uh, Magic wand works works fine in this case. And quick, it's quicker to do it this way as well. For this case, I'm talking about a situation where you have, let's say, hair involved, and there are too, simply too many holes to go and click around like I've done to, to do it. See, right, right now I've got a, whoops. I've got a decent, I've, got, I've removed the, the excess white from the outside. And I accidentally removed some of this. That's, that's one of the things you want to try to prevent. This I don't think would, would be part of it. 
But even with that mistake, it's not too bad. Oh, you know, we lost a lot, didn't we? So you, you have to guard against that. In this image, well, we'll just put that aside for a minute. Um, magic. I wish I could save the history. I want to un be able to undo what I did. Well, we could start over. <laughs> See. Okay, I'm going to close this. Take it away. Now, uh, <clears throat> using the what method I wanted to show you, uh, this was a. I, I had. I took this as the final after the scraping bit. Um, now this is using a this is by creating a mask, right? And um, if the mask is good and it's unfortunately you can't look I don't know how to extract this as a picture. But if the mask is good then then you should be good to turn this into a a, a layer. I don't think there's anything missing from the original one here. This is okay, but in fact, this this contains some. Uh, th there are a few leaks here and there, but you can't. See, it's hard to see them. Uh, now I don't know if I can just create a layer. I don't want it part of the group. No, I don't want that. Thank you very much. I don't like. I want something besides this new group, new layer group. You won't let me. Oh, there we go. Oh no, I don't want that either. I want to just I want to merge this, but I don't want to merge it. I mean, I want to be able to go back. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's, I can save this as something else. Alright, so now this is essentially the, the result of the magic wand, except we still have, we retained these white bits. Um, and uh, I'll show you that I have. Those have been retained. I just need a new layer. And do the same as before. Bring this up. And you can see that there are a couple of mishaps, but not too much. They can be easily cleaned. Now, uh, using the selection with so a little bit, a little bit of feather. Let's clean that. Up. And a steady hand. Takes care of that. Uh, the only problem is these bits that I couldn't see before uh, have snuck in, right? But aside from that, it's almost perfect. There's another bit there. I messed up one. But it's pretty easy to go around and clean up the little mistakes. I'm using an eraser for this too. In fact, an eraser is probably best.
Hmm. It's not perfect. Well, now, now actually, this is, this is going to be okay. I should fix it. Okay. And another little dig in the corner. Hardly noticeable at like normal size. Uh, yeah, so that's not perfect. I need a better example. Okay, I found a good example. Now here is something. Uh, that's going to contain a lot of holes. Actually, no, that's two. I'm not sure exactly what you would want here. It's huge too, I forget that. What's something with hair? What well, has lots of hair besides? Ah! Now, I love this. Um, well, this would, be a, this would be a good example if I could do it. Where you, what you want to do is you want to keep this image, but you want to replace that black in the background. That's tricky. In this case, let's see, could it be done? Hmm. It could be done, I think, but maybe not using that method. See, I've had cases where I've had some images that have lots of holes, but uh, more than you'd want to deal with, but not as complex as that. Uh, like human hair. Now, what would one want with this one? You'd want to keep the white dog. This is an example where actually the weaknesses of my method might become strengths. <laughs> <coughs> Try it. Suppose we want to. <clears throat> we just want to pull the image part of this out and, and leave the black. Uh, the, the wand, I think, method uh, won't, won't image work very well because it'll um, it won't be able to deal with these little dots. We could try it. <clears throat> Conflict in. This is not a political. Uh, <laughs> it's not supposed to be a political program. Conflict in. It's a PNG, but I, I don't think there's any. Uh, Alpha, alpha layer in it. Transparency. I did say to open it up, didn't I? 
Oh, yeah, here it comes. As I was trying to say before I thought I clicked uh, uh, Chrome and said click the recorder. One of the problems with this paint shop program uh, I've found is that it, it doesn't uh, obey the new rules. The new rule is uh, you're not allowed to jump jump ahead of a window. Even if you're starting up, I mean, if you've been requested to start up, once you're in, in the background, you're not allowed to uh, just like jump in the front while somebody's t trying to type something in. But uh, so it goes. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work, but it might. So you, you say uh, new mask layer from image. Uh, use, usually using luminance. If you do any non-zero value, then that's pretty much the same as uh, magic wand with no tolerance. Uh, now, do I want it inverted? In this case, probably not. Okay, that looks like the correct sort of image. Now, I should be able to pull that thing out by selecting the mask, shift D, and uh, I'll switch it to the middle of the minute. Now we can increase the brightness. Now the more bright the brighter we make it, the more we're gonna see of the image. And then if we get the uh, contrast at the right level. That's not good. In the wrong direction. No. Uh, reduce the brightness. Okay. The contrast is what well, one would say a hundred. Um, Now those are black dots. And the white dots. Maybe at some point with a high enough contrast. Black stays black, and um, so now maybe right on the border there. One step forward, where it disappears here. Our mask is picking up most of the image. Uh, you see the, the inner parts you can just flood fill with white. It doesn't matter. The only thing to, that's so important is the outer part. Yeah. 
I'm going to see it change. Are we getting any change? It's approximately right. But you see, what's good about this, even if, it, if it's whether it's worked or not, is that it's filled in all these little nooks and crannies. So if I merge this group now, I have uh, that image, and uh, if I want to put a different background on it, well, I, I don't think we want this background, but we'll try. Oh, yeah. This one. What do you think I want? Okay, that worked pretty good. Ugh. What is this? Oh. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I wanted to be able to zoom. I need a safe thing in my hand. Okay. Now, see, it worked pretty good with the uh, stars and stuff. Uh, except they're kind of flat. It almost got them. But, uh, but it didn't exactly. It, it does seem to have all of the image in it. So it's a matter of getting rid of that black. And I wonder if it's possible to do that in a single step. We took the, actually now take the magic wand. Why did it select that? I wonder. It's too com it's too complex an image for the wand. Oh, I know why. Okay. Now, what is it selected? With a feather of two, does that with one delete? Oh no. Try it again. <laughs> I don't want anything that does anything. Those look like little star thing. We just need a dark background now. Get rid of that. This one. Safe, safe tool. Okay, those are the stars, isn't it? We may have missed some, but it looks like uh, we have essentially a mask of the image that we can put any background against. What kind of picture do we want to put in here? Uh, how about the Wikipedia, the other Wikipedia image? 
So what have I got here? I want white or something, a dark image. That's wonderful. That's actually kind of would be an interesting overlay, <laughs> wouldn't it? It's too big though. That's a 1360 film. As big as that, I think. 1600 Nine six eight center background flat. <laughs> I wanted it center. But no, it should take the current background. No not if it won't, it won't. Image canvas size sixteen hundred nine six eight center that okay, all right, fine. Fair enough. Now, here's our other image. All right, well, there. See, we can put it on top of any sort of image, and this sort of this might make someone scared about the dangers of nuclear weapons. You could you could make this paint and then behind this put a, a fully black thing. Okay. Now you've got a now you've got like a propaganda uh, a propaganda picture. Well, this needs to be painted. You see how you can sway people's thinking? You show them this picture and this shows conflict and nuclear bombs in the world, and uh, clearly on top of it is the world, the, the shiny world. So there you go, now you learned a new trick. Uh, I hope you understood what I did. Um, I created an alpha mask and uh, applied that alpha ma mask. Uh, I created the alpha mask by creating a black and white image uh, from the colors of the, the original image and using the uh, brightness and contrast with the maximum contrast, I got it to just the point where. Uh, the image, the, the black, the black just came out, and so we get a crisp pull out of everything, uh, every bit of the image. Uh, but we it included a little bit of black to get rid of the black. Uh, I so after. Collapsing the uh, masked image to the uh, to just a uh, 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 raster layer, I uh, took a the magic wand and clicked on the outer part 
and press delete twice with two with a feathering of two, which has the effect of um, reducing the uh, increasing the transparency, reducing the opacity of all surrounding pixels of anything in the, uh, that's in contact with the outer region. And that got rid of the black and left us with this shiny bits. And uh, from that, I made this one of the women. Which I don't know what I'm going to do with, but I like it. I'm going to save it. In PN, PSP image format, the uh, end of the world. Armageddon. Okay, I'm going to upload this. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot, I protected myself.